Sonia from Bursts of Autumn and I just wanted to tell you about a subscription that I subscribe to and I'm so excited for the next three months because I have taken out a three month subscription with this company and it was recommended by an amazing booktuber called Red by Beth and when I saw her video unboxing this I was like I must have that I need to try that out so here I am talking about it in the hope that you might want it <laughs> so I'm going to speak to you about a subscription box that is called da -da -da -da, books that matter and this subscription box is almost like a female empowerment um box that sent you obviously books um that are related to incredible females or written by female authors and they also add in some little goodies as well I've just cleaned my lens so if everything looks a little bit more clarity uh, if everything looks like it's got a bit more clarity then that's the reason why I just saw on my lens it was like a little smidge so I've got my my glass cleaner did that so books that matter all I'm saying is I've ordered about three things recently and every day that I've got a delivery I've been like please be that please be that but it wasn't but today during my meeting and my work meeting I had something delivered and my mum brought it into the room and I was like oh my god that's either going to be this or that so very very excited that it was this so I look like I'm holding a boom box so yeah books that matter and I just love it I absolutely love it so opening it up to this gorgeous gorgeous inside and then they've got like a tissue paper with a beautiful sticker but I really don't want to rip the sticker so I think I'm just going to rip around it there we go so yep yeah, as you can see they've got that really cute little sticker and then when you open it up here we go. So that looks really cool. So we have got, which is very cool, breathable organic cotton, TOTM -T switch kit, a mix of organic cotton period care. Interesting. So ready to make the switch. Vegan society, that's brilliant. That's amazing. So if some of you are probably thinking that's a bit of a weird thing to include in a book box, but no, so this company are an incredible company and in each month they add different bits and bobs alongside the book that they send. And oh my God, I've just seen the other things right. I'm not gonna try not to ruin it for myself. And um, so yeah, it's basically about empowering women and embracing them as well so this is a really cool way actually of um finding new brands new ethical brands who want the best for the world and for the women um and this is amazing so these this is called ready to make the switch a switch kit and discover the comfort of breathable organic cotton naturally soft and absorbent TOTM products do not contain fragrance, perfumes, deodorants or chlorine bleach. All of our products are hypoallergenic. Pack contains, all made with 100 certified organic cotton, one light applicator tampon, two medium applicator tampons, one super applicator tampon, one medium flow pad, one super flow pad and two liners. You might be thinking, oh it's a bit strange to talk about that, but I'm the kind of person who I quite like talking about taboo subjects and subjects that might be um, stigmatised because that's exactly what the world needs. It needs people to talk honestly and openly about the topics that other people aren't comfortable talking about, like sex and female pleasure um, in terms of sex toys and things like that. And I, I think there's a huge movement at the moment um, of sex toys and female self-pleasure so i think that these packages are honestly more than ever now and um, obviously they're not going to stick a sex toy in there but what i'm trying to say is i am the kind of person who although i'm quite um a reserved person when it comes to certain things i am becoming so much more open with um topics that other people wouldn't really want to talk about and the kind of topics that people go oh why would you talk about that but periods should be 
normalize they are a part of human life and um, without them human life would not exist and i think that the more we don't talk about topics like this the more we have young women who are scared to tell people about their period and they are scared and shamed and embarrassed and you know what having come from a time where i was embarrassed and scared even to tell my mum um, and I went through a really bad time with my periods at school and I was absolutely terrified of them and I wish that I would have had the movement like this so that I felt like I could talk to people openly without it being a disgusting topic. So yeah, I am very into the free periods movement um, and the period poverty. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate stuff like this and I'm really looking forward to reviewing products like this. Uh, I didn't expect it, don't get me wrong, I did not expect anything like this, but I'm very, very grateful. So yeah, we've got the TOTM switch kit. I'm sorry if it's TOTM or just TOTM, um, I'm not entirely sure. By the way, you can probably hear my budgie, Victor, he's basically become part of my, like, back and trap now. So, next, ooh, very interesting. So, the... Doisy and Dam Crunchy Dark Chocolate Balls and they are called Ballers and they look like vegan Maltesers that's really cool actually because I've recently been working with a brand um, and I've got a discount code if you would like they are called Norbals uh, well they're, the products are called Norbals um, that are like these and the company is called creative nature and you can use my code bursts of autumn 10 to get 10 percent off and um, if you like that is essentially an ad within here so i'll make sure that that is said so yes um they are vegan and gluten free um the ones that i work with um and they're amazing so it's really interesting to try different ones so these no palm oil ethical cocoa natural ingredients um certified corporation vegan that's really cool i'm really looking forward to trying those so yeah those then i've got this very nice hair bubble like a scrunchie i really like that i love those colors it's really cute i could definitely see that sort of going yeah going in like a hairstyle like this that's really sweet i like that a lot let me discombobulate it now though oh look it's a scrunchie but you can also you've also got this that you can undo i like that that's really cute i love that it just matches all with the colors as well and then there is this oh my god is it like a tea towel do you know what when i first looked at this i thought it was a tote bag but it's not look at that I'm guessing if you can see it because I can't see through it. How amazing is that? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's amazing. They're, actually, they're reading actual books. So we've got the Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race, which is a very good one. The Bluest Eye. Corregidora, don't touch my hair, the awakening, the secret diaries with Anne, listen, what's she reading, can't quite see what they're reading but that's amazing, yeah I think that's either a tea towel or some sort of, um, I don't know, like a, just like a little flat lay or something. I definitely, if that is a tea towel, I won't be using it like that. Or it could be um, like a wall, um, like a, a wall hanging, like canvasy kind of thing. But no, that's so cool. Um, yeah, just in case you want to have a quick and easier look. These are the kind of illustrations that I like love to look at on Pinterest like the kind of definitely the kind of thing that i go for in terms of um graphic and illustration if you've seen on my instagram victor victor chill 
if you've seen on my Instagram, I um, I do a lot of graphics on Canva. And I do a lot with like pastel, pastel illustrations of women and men. Right, so what is this? I'll look at this and then I'll get onto the book. Hmm. So there's a little booklet and it says, Where there is a woman, there is magic. By, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that name, but Ntazaik Shange. So sorry if I've said that wrong. So yeah, March 2021. Wonderful stuff. So let's have a little look at whether that is a tea towel or whether it is something. So it is a tea towel and the art I think on it as well as the bits that are inside and also the box is created by Judith P. Raynaud, um or Reyno um, and that's her name on Instagram Judith underscore P dot Raynaud, um with an L and clearly in, an incredible artist and what I love about this is that they support small um, and indie artists, female indie artists and collaborate with them which I think is absolutely fantastic yeah they've got stuff about International Women's Day in here and here we go exactly talking about um, in here I've just read the page about the TOTM um, switch kit um, the period um, products so here they've got some questions and it's basically what I was just talking about. Um, end the silence around menstruation. Um, amazing that they want to tackle period plastic as well. How we can all work towards combating period poverty. Um, how best can we dissolve the stigma and shame around menstruation. Thank you. What are you as a brand doing differently to ensure sustainability and why is organic and sustainable period care so important? Well, they are very, very good points to raise and I can't wait to read all of this in depth. And I just, I just love it. It's basically about female empowerment and I just think that, especially now during such a tough time in the world, which I won't go into detail about because I'm actually going to do another video about that um, when I feel that I can um, because it's quite a sensitive topic. But everything that's happened with Sarah Everard, I'm really sorry for saying that because I know that you're probably just overwhelmed with all of it. But basically, I just think that these kind of subscription boxes are literally the perfect kind of things to empower women around this difficult time and also all year round as well so also got this um so these are like little i've got some little postcards so a postcard and then some pictures so i've got a postcard here and it says when the world denies you find your power and write when they speak of a freedom that doesn't include you write away those bars write together your scars around your wounds write around your wounds into your womb i love that from when to write by sophie thackle that's really cool so yeah that's a little postcard but i'll definitely just keep that as like a picture and then we've got these pictures as well with i think these are famous women famous writers and they are sort of illustrations of the people and then they've got a little bit about them on the back so First of all, we have this lovely lady. Her name is Sue Sin Fa. And that is the Cantonese pen name of English Chinese writer Edith Maud Eaton. Um, and she wrote short stories, poems and articles focused on the Chinese experience and um, exploring what it meant to be a Chinese woman in a white man's world. And her collection involves My Spring France highlighted um, her struggles and the joys which came with the daily life of a Chinese family living in North America. I won't write, uh, read the rest of it because if you do want to buy March's edition or you already have, then I'm not going to spend ages reading all of it. I will be taking pictures and popping them on my blog, so I'll leave the link below. So yeah, we have that lovely picture, which I will definitely, definitely have up. 
um I can't, do you know what i can't wait to get my own home and i can have like a library room <laughs> or a library a library wall a big shelf with all my books and then some really inspirational writers and stuff so then we have this one this is zora neil hurston and she was a central figure of the harlem renaissance writing fiction and academic papers on contemporary issues in the black community her novels however were mostly recognized unrecognized for decades um, until 1975 after Alice Walker published In Search of Zora Z uh, Neale Hurston in Miss Magazine. That's fantastic. That is amazing. And as a as a black lady as well, I can imagine that is that well, obviously we all know how difficult um how difficult individuals had it back then. Um and uh, what an inspiration is basically all i have to say what an inspiration to all of these women there is so much hate in the world at the moment and there is so much prejudice and i just i just think this is so inspiring to see incredible people and incredible women doing amazing things throughout history so then last but not least is zitkala Saar. I have definitely said that wrong, there are accents within the letters. Um, so Zitkala Saar was a Yankan Dakota writer, editor, musician and political activist. Amazing. Her most famous collection of stories, American Indian Stories. Do you know what? I absolutely love American Indian art. I think just look at how beautiful she looks. Like Pocahontas, absolutely gorgeous. Um, Yep, so explore the hardship she and other Native American Indians face when assimilative measures were enforced upon them. As a journalist, some of the stories and articles are taken from pieces she wrote for Harper's and Atlantic's Monthly. And yes, yeah, she's a talented musician and also attributed with writing the music for the first Native American opera, the Sundance Opera. That is amazing. And again, I won't read all of the um, bio on these people and um, I'll just enjoy that for myself and not ruin all of that for you. But what incredible women. So last but not least is the book. Oh, there is also this little thing as well. International Women's Day must read. Ooh that's cool so it's kind of like a bookmark but also so it's like um, a reading list of books that are recommended for international women's day and you can check them off i have a reading list for this year's um challenge for me um but i've already read five books this year and i think i'm definitely going to um increase my target because there are so many books that i want to read um that i haven't already selected within that range so yeah i might you know I might juggle things about but yeah so that's really awesome and i'll definitely share this on my blog again and i might link some of these below as well in the comments right so last but not least is a beautiful and very simple cover and colors i just there's something really calming about this just very calming um and it's by anna sampson and it is she will soar Bright, brave poems of freedom by women. Oh my God. What better time? What better time is all I have to say. Like seriously, what an amazing month for this to be the book. So, She Will Soar is an uplifting collection of bright, brave poems about freedom written by women. From the ancient world right up to the present day, it includes poems on wonderless travel, daydreams, flights, a fantasy, escaping into books, tranquility, courage, hope and resilience. From frustrated housewives to passionate activists, from servants and suffragettes to some of today's most gifted writers, here is a bold choir of voices demanding independence and celebrating their hard-won power. Immerse yourself in poems by Caroline Duffy, Caroline Duffy, Christina Rossetti, Stevie Smith, Sarah Crossman, Emily Dickinson, Selena Godden, Mary Jean Chan, Charlie Cox, Nikita Gill, Fiona Benson, Holly McNish and Grace Nichols to name but a few. And that is amazing. I cannot wait to read that. I might have this as my, when I finished reading The Little Book of Hyde and An Edited Life, I might start this alongside a fiction that I'm reading this year. Um, my current read is uh, the weight of small things but i'm going to finish that today and then i might use this when i finish the edited life 
or the little book of haig um but yes yeah, so i absolutely love it i'm so overwhelmed by this subscription box um it's absolutely incredible and i'm already looking forward to next month's um what an incredible idea and concept and all i have to say is amazingly executed and i definitely definitely recommend you looking into this whether you buy a one month subscription three month or take it as as you want basically they can work around you um and yeah there's something that suits all and if it's not your kind of thing then fair enough but i definitely recommend this to you feminists and those who just want some female empowerment and also to feel inspired by female figures across the ages um, and across all races and yeah i think it's an amazing time for this um with everything that's going on in the world right now and i think that females need a little bit of empowerment and they also need to realize how dating back so many generations we have had incredible incredible empowering women in in life in general so yes i really hope that you've enjoyed this video and thank you so much i would love to know what you think if you have subscribed to this already or whether you're thinking of subscribing um to this and if you do let me know how it goes and i would be happy to discuss the books with you as well so yes i will have all of this up on my blog soon and i hope you've enjoyed and i hope you have an amazing day or night or week or month whatever suits you take it as it goes and just be incredible stay wonderful and keep inspiring thank you so much guys and thank you so much for the support feel free to leave me a like comment and also subscribe and even share if you fancy but no worries if not thank you for popping along bye